Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I ended off where we were finished the wheat on the south farm. Uh, took the trucks home last night and uh, brought the combines and the auger and tractor this morning. And started here not too long ago. I just uh, parked a truck there. We've got uh, three combines going now, back to pickup headers. And we're polishing off this field pretty damn quick. I mean, the guys just barely started, really. Been about here for about an hour and a half, maybe. I gotta walk back all the way around. I'll meet you over there. There, a little bit closer now. Canola's testing uh, eight right now. Over dry, dry is 10. Wow, well, actually, I think 9.5 is the is the new dry now. But uh, a lot of guys combining at 11 even. I've combined at 11. As long as it was cold outside, it doesn't heat. It's not supposed to, but <laughs> depends how cold it is when you combine it. If you can turn your fans on and get it cool, it'll keep for a long time. Like 11 is only one point off, so. We got Sean, Laurie, and Trevor. Trevor is his last day of holiday today. Tomorrow's Monday. Yeah, I think I gotta go get my drone. Get some shots of this. But I gotta go unload first. I'm full. I don't know how much of that I caught on camera, but... Oh, is that empty already? So we were dumping in that bin and all of a sudden the canola was just pouring out of it. What happened was the... Uh, Whatever the hell you call it. This guy right here jumped out of place and it started pouring out. So we had to have to go in there and shovel it all the way. And it's all humid out today. A little sweating like crazy. Oh, it's nice and dry. You can see how it just flows. So this is a butler bin, and you don't have to worry about this part. It's all built in. So just stick your auger in there and give her. So now I'm just going to make sure this door seals. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. That's 
good. Just leave it in the back. Sean will do it. So you should be hitting this band. Then you know it's perfect. You're hitting the other one. It's hard to get used to it. It's so high up. Oh. Anyway, I think Lori's combine could stand to be a little bit dirtier. It's pretty clean. Trevor's just right there. Let's wait and see what Sean. Sean's emerging out of the dust. It's gonna get tough kind of early today. Almost like it wanted to rain. It's supposed to be hot again, like 25, 26. Full bin light must have came on. Just had a little ways to go. Forty bushels. find a header for that to combine but I'll find one then we'll have uh, we'll have headers for all three so. well I took over from Trevor Good, I'm already tired it's like 9 30 I think right now the last I looked so it is starting to get a little tough. You can tell. Sean said he can tell. It's slowing down a little bit now. I'm doing... Well, I can probably go a little bit faster. Three miles an hour. Pretty big swaths for 21 feet. They look uh, smaller on the camera, but... Starting to fog up in here. It must be getting pretty cold out there. Probably damn near freezing temperature. I know yesterday it was zero at this time. What do we got in the back here? Oh, she's over the longer now. Well, we're just about done with. Not too many swaths until you hit the bush over there. So I don't know. 
good afternoon everybody how's it going well today we're in the we finished up the canola from last night at home moved over here about six miles down and this is uh, C, uh cantera canola cs 4000 and so far so good i'm really liking it it's a little harder to combine than uh, the cow this is a pod shatter technology here so you can straight combine this or you can swath it a little bit later down here taking up the whole pickup 14 feet swath I don't know how many acres we've done already but I got that Kenworth full almost We actually didn't do much, you can see. There's Sean. Pouring in. This is a 200 acre field here. I'm thinking I'm gonna grow this stuff across the highway there where I had barley. That was the harvest has begun video. So I think Sean, when it gets to uh, nighttime, for some reason he gets sick from the lights on the John Deere. So we're gonna switch combines and I'll run that one and he'll run this one at night. And if he still gets sick, well then, I don't know. He's not a night owl then. But as soon as that truck gets full, I gotta take it and I'll blow these guys one. Lori's around, Lori's around the back there. He's taking the last outside round, so. We'll talk with you in a bit. I don't think to be coming as good as we go this way, eh? Well, Sean is standing down there. The John Deere broke a chain. That low spot there on each side of the house, that's how that party is. It did better in those. So we had some chatter there. <laughs> we had uh, two TRs going now. I'll fix that chain in the morning. Just needs a new one. I kind of missed that chain. It was due for replacement. So it's a feeder house chain. This canola is dry. It's testing like uh, six. I don't think that rain did even did anything to it. So I'm just waiting here for everybody to unload so I can give her home and come back. So. Uh, almost done harvest 22 
Uh, we had to fix the John Deere this morning. Sean was earning it yesterday, broke the chain right there under that cover. So I put a new one on and we're up and running again. There's Lori and there's Sean on the other 99. So we're just, uh, just giving her. Canola is way overdrive. It's testing like six. So I like to throw a two inch pump and pump some water to the bins. Get some of my weight back. Actually, I've heard of people putting garden hoses in the, in the, in the auger. They're augering it in. That's a little crazy to me, but I've read about it. I'm still tired from last night. We had to go until we filled those two trucks. And then we left. So uh, after this canola, we have 80 acres of barley left. And that's barley I seeded really late. And it's just perfect now. So. There we go. Man, I haven't run this John Deere for very, very much. Had to familiar, what, familiar, familiarize, just like Meredith. Can't get the word out. <laughs> uh, all the buttons again. So this canola is doing pretty good. Um, uh, it's all these hills that actually cut your average down because it's get into the low areas here it's nice soil dark then you get on the hills and it's uh, light it's light sand so oh Lord, he's just got a full hopper there eh? there's that stupid uh, bubble up auger on that one just throwing that go around see that uh, auger is supposed to have a cover on it and I don't have one but I don't think that auger is going to be on there past this season changed. So it's either going to be slowed down or we're going to put the original one back on. Just whipping that canola up there, eh? You guys uh, see all the, uh, my previous uh, few video clips there? Those uh, all those eight eight X nines from my neighbors there at the South Farm. So I know probably many of you watch Mike Mitchell. He's got a couple of them. Well, he's got like a few of them. So does he have like six of them or so? I don't know. I can't remember. But uh, I know my neighbors have been having a few problems. Oh, excuse me. Uh, one of them, the engine went out. It was getting uh, antifreeze in the oil. Um, a couple of them, they had cracked fuel tanks. So apparently the, the fuel tanks are made of aluminum and they're a little bit on the thin side. 
and uh, I heard they had to get a few of those fixed at the machine shop. Um, actually, John Deere has a part number for a fix for that, and the part number comes up to be JB Weld. <laughs> That's crazy. So they got a few things to fix on those yet. Those green twin rotor combines. <laughs> Other than that, the combines themselves are, are pretty good. I prefer thrashing and, you know, everything else. Uh, I know Mike Mitchell's having problems with the flex header, breaking all the bolts, but uh, he, uh, he had no crop this year at the south farm, of his south farm, all uh, didn't grow from the drought, so he was using that flex header all the time right to the ground, so, but still, that's what it's made for. Like, I'd be using it for peas like that, so, I'd probably end up busting those bolts. I don't know why they just didn't go a little heavier. I guess they're made to break if something happens, like, is too much or whatnot I'm not sure but anyway so far that's what I hear about the X9s uh, a woman I follow on Instagram she does the farm bucks app on the phone actually everybody should download that that thing's cool it's farm bucks um, anyway uh, she demoing the X9 and she says the, the 50 foot header is awesome and straight cutting canola so so yeah and she runs New Holland CR's uh, 9080's I think I don't know I think uh, myself I'd like to upgrade this combine to uh, a, 90, uh, a 9650 we were looking at one this spring it went quite high, quite high. It's like 80,000, 90,000. I didn't think it would go that high. But yeah, it's got to be a walker machine, so uh, so we can have good straw. I mean, this column is still working pretty good. The hours are getting up on it, but. I need a bunch of work done to it pretty soon. So yeah, that's enough of me ranting now. I'll catch you all later. So we're in the hills here in the back of this field, man. They are so steep. Like the camera doesn't even show it, but they are. Like, you can't barely climb this. This combine spinning out. So I'm going to try and attack this at a different angle here. Straight up, not sideways. I don't want to tip over. Nope, won't go. I guess if I put her in uh, first gear, I could probably make it up. I don't know why Sean didn't go. He doesn't have, I got three quarters of a hopper, so it's heavy. Let's try this again in first gear. Spitting out. Made it to the top though. The lorry's gonna go up that sideways one there, one more round. Whoa, in the sand. I hate these hills back here, they're so, so steep.
Han took that out of Swan. Yeah, he did take it. The lorry doesn't have to go in there. He's going sideways there. <laughs> That's it, I'm full. So they're just gonna finish her off because they got only half full. So we're gonna end up with three full hoppers and two full trucks. Holy man, is it ever hot out here today? like 26 degrees you just feel the heat it's pretty hot for this time of year I really like to fill in this ditch no water comes through here anymore This has been uh, a first in a long time that we, we've we been combining with leaves on the trees. Usually we're just starting. We don't get done till like middle of October. Pretty cold. Have to dry everything. This canola is over dry. Like everything's dry. Nobody's using dryers this year. Well, I mean, some are. Some of the wheat was testing uh, seven, or 16, 17, so.
That is it for canola. Canola's done. Well, we're heading back to the end of the field, or well, the beginning of the field, I guess, for the house. And we're going to pick up the canola. We're going to pick up the trucks and dump them and then we're going to come back here and unload the combines and then dump that. And then, uh, I wish we had more canola to combine. Let's go find some somewhere. There's got to be somewhere. Some canola needs to be combined around here. <laughs> I've got 80 acres of barley to go and then we're done.